What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on the Burn Meme team. We need to get Aspen Dungeon Checkpoint done. We need to stop throwing like we seem to do constantly, no matter the account we're on lately. So, what we're gonna do is, let me just see, it's been a little bit since I've checked a couple things here. I want to take off all the gear, like off all the heroes. I want to see what we have, and see if we can actually craft a six star set of gear or do we already no we don't we don't have a six star set so there's a couple things we need to do i just did this on my other account as well um we need to jump into spring festival and see if we can get any of these bosom friends done now i don't know if we can we're gonna have to give it a try so let me pull up and see because if we can get some more gear like let, let's just let's just focus on the gear ones here let's see if the gear ones uh we can get anything at all. So Fortress and Light. Fortress and Light, and Light is Sherlock and Belrain, I believe. I don't know if we've had a Sherlock on this account. It doesn't look like it, right? Belrain, have we had a Belrain? We haven't had a Belrain either. So that one's kind of out the door. What is the other one? Light and Forest. Light and Forest is Tara and Olivia. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen either. <laughs> don't have it in the bag either. Oh, those are bad. I really, really wanted some gear. I really wanted some of that gear. I highly doubt we can do either of these. Highly doubt it, but we will check just in case. Um, let's check the six-star couple. So the dark, I mean, there's no way, right? Yeah, no way with dark. Shadow? Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's going to be a thing. <laughs> Shadow and Fortress. Uh, let's take a look. That Sherlock and Jara. Yeah, definitely not. So we can't really do much there. So simply put, let's see what we can do in the blacksmith. So. Oh, that's not good. We need like three pieces. We can try it. We can see if we can make it work. So first and foremost, let's get two of these made here which does mean we have oh wait no we need a third one so we need three more we need six more here which means we need oh god i think it's time to just do one of these and rip our gold just completely destroy it let's just upgrade pretty much everything in this tier we got two more we need one more set oh man i think we have to go like all the way back to here and we might just barely have enough We'll have to take a look though. This, this ain't looking good unless we were just missing like one on each one of these tiers. Oh, we were just missing like two. Oh, I think we might have just enough. We got three sets right here. Okay. So we were able to make a six star chest piece. That is good. I think we're going to have to do the same here. So let's just start down at the red three star and start upgrading gear and completely destroying all of our gold. Cause I really want to get a one three split gear set up on him for even more attack value. Let's see, we got five pieces here. I think that's good, right? Yes, exactly. We had one extra piece of gear. That's fine. And now we have to decide what we want to use. Do we want to use his weapon? It gives block or control immunity, probably control immunity. So let's see if we can build a weapon. The numbers are looking very similar, so I think we should have no problem here. I think we're good. I think we're good. Keep on going. 18. Wow, that's a lot of two-star, which means a lot of three-star. Yeah, we can definitely make a weapon. Weapon's going to be very, very easy. We could probably... Whew. Actually, no, we just barely made it by two pieces. Not bad. So we got the gear. Let's get it set up. So we're going to go with a 1-3 split gear set up here. Uh, get that weapon on here for more crit damage because I think this one, I think weapon gives like skill damage. We're going to stick with holy attack attack. We are sitting at over 100% in Aspen Dungeon most likely. Void imprint. So let's keep putting more points in the attack node. I like that. All right, let's just see what we can do. Hold on. Wait, hold on. I like that setup. 
I like that setup. Yeah. All right. If I remember correctly, I feel like I like threw this on the last run right at the end. Five demon potions, not a ton. Yeah, this is the one where we got to 43 and then we faced the Asmodel and then I just face planted hardcore. <laughs> I think I left him at like next to no health and I didn't realize the quad wave. I thought it was this wave, but instead it was actually the one with the Asmodel in it and it just completely obliterated our run. We won't make that mistake again. I hope. <laughs> I hope is the big keyword here. So let's get his health low. Not too low though, because those are sleepless. And you know my feeling about sleepless waves lately with Inosuke. I mean, Marax, he doesn't do that much better, honestly. He slowly bleeds out, but luckily he can do a lot of damage to them. Get the active, just one shot. That is good. So Quad Valentino, is this going to be a problem? Maybe. We don't get crit. Those stuns could kind of wreck us. We did get crit, so we are safe. Cleared the wave out. Nice to see. Karim, double Karim. Um, would be good on a wave like this if we had no health because there would be potential that we could one-tap them. We need to come across some waves here that we can get energy off of. This was close. Again, we just got to keep losing some health. And we'll be in a really good spot. Eesh, not against this, though. Ugh. Ugh. Nah, there's way too many CC effects. Plus, there's a sleepless mark, and I'm really scared of that. Oh, that energy drain. The petrify. Oh, God. Oh, no. Don't die. Can we two-tap? Oh, we two-tap. We get some energy back. We're low health. We're in a prime spot to push now. Oh, come on, game. Why are you guys so mean to me? I hate Sleepless so much. <laughs> okay, there we go. Get energy off the last one. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Waste it on the Faith Blade, but that is what we need to do. Uh, fat moves are going to be easy to deal with. Brings us to low health. Uh, I think we can two-tap the queen. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Uh, solo Mirage. Yeah, we'll just one-tap him. Get us zeroed out for the next two-tap, hopefully. It is quad wave. wonder if we can one-tap here. Oh, wow. We kill the Vesa immediately. Interesting. We don't quite kill the Michelle. Might get energy here. Yes, we do. And we're doing maximum damage because we have literally a sliver of health. Now, probably want to heal one time. Just to be safe and not instantly proc unbending. Since Michelle does revive, I don't want to really take that risk. We do end up getting zero energy though, but I mean, it is what it is. A field we should be able to two tap. Nice, 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 nice. I will take it. Again, I can't risk being that low health. Like, we could easily just get one tap by the mark. Granted, I know we can do that right there, but... Ugh. Sleepless waves. Go away. Nobody likes you. All right, let's see what we can do here. Okay. Okay. Cleared it nice and easy. Uh, we should be able to get energy off the Margaret wave. Not too bad. Yeah, I like it. I love it. Let's keep going. Solo Mirage. Yeah, we don't even have to watch that. We know we're good. Uh, duo Fat Move might be a little risky. Can we one tap? No, which means we're going to have to get to an active. We are pretty much zeroed out on health. So as long as it's not a hero that's going to do a ton... Don't think we can do this with the bleeds and everything they add on. I think the safe bet is just reset our health back to 100, get an active off. We should be pretty low health anyway. Yeah, we got below 50%. I don't think unbending would have saved us really. Ah, so many sleepless. Go away. Ah, 
We won't full heal because I want to still have a little bit bonus damage here. We'll kill both. Reset. Get one more basic. Active for the win. Back to low health. Okay. Heart Watcher will two tap. Give us that energy. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll just waste the energy here and get a little bit lower health. DA. This is interesting. Oh, he... <laughs> He really, really, the one time, one time the active actually gets it. It still ended up being fine, but uh, we're going to heal a little bit since we only hit three mims. One is guaranteed to stay alive. So I just want to make sure we don't get completely obliterated here. All right, not full energy, but we're close. This should be fine. We hit all four of them in round two. Or rather, all three of them. So that's good. 21 million. That's a lot of damage. And we don't even have an upgraded Punisher staff. Should two tap the Karim. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good to go. Got full energy. We need to heal a little bit. Because still worried about that Sleepless. Got to kill him twice. Again, that mark damage can go right through Unbending. That's why it's so devastating. I think we get energy here. Yep, we actually come out of it with energy, so I am happy with that. Oh, no. I think bait is one of them that really crushes us, right? But this should be fine. We have energy. We're low health. We just one tap. Actually, no. Bait's, Bait's get bad against our Inosuke. He's actually not that scary against Marax because we have Unbending here. Yeah, we should be good. Next time we run with a no skate, we are most definitely running Unbending Will. That was a huge mistake, running Balance Strike as a test. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I know a lot of these we're going to get past and get energy out of. So I'm not going to bother watching them. This one should be fine as well. Although we're probably going to have to use an active here. Oh, it's so close. It's so close, but that is good. Oh, no, it's not good. Ah, I hate sleepless so much how many are we gonna get imagine if this was on the free to play with a nosuke we would be like crying oh my god we almost died we almost died that is ridiculous we're going full hp we're just gonna skip this battle we know it's a win when we're full hp that was kind of close that was a little close for comfort right there okay guys that was very close what the heck? What was that? Okay, this right here. Okay, this is the wave. I want to use a demon potion. I'm not going to accidentally think it's just a healer wave. Let's just kill that Asmodel round one, please. Good. I'll take it. I love it. We're going to have to get another active off. That's fine. Okay, perfect. Solo Mirage shouldn't be a problem. I think we're going to have to use an active, though, just because we have such high health, which means we're not going to deal a ton of damage with our basic. I'm telling you guys, as soon as we get an upgraded Punisher, I think Mirax is really going to pop off. Like, I think he really, really is going to be able to do a lot of damage with that basic, so long as he's critting. And he should have 100% crit chance. So, yeah, pretty good to go. Low health, which means we are primed for farming energy, and then we get that. So let's go in there, pop an energy art or not energy artifact, an energy demon bell, and uh, just zero ourselves back out. Not too bad. Still not throwing, right, guys? We're still not throwing. Go to full health and get maybe a round three active. No. Yes? Oh, we didn't get rid of Purify. This could be really bad. Should we have used Energy here, you guys think? No, we're... Ugh, luckily, luckily, I didn't completely throw. If we come across Quad Mim again, we're definitely using Energy. Uh, we're going to go full heal here. So we're essentially... We just beat what we previously had beat before we threw... <laughs> <laughs> so let's hope we don't die hopefully barry doesn't do barry things uh solo mickey i don't think we're low enough health to get energy sadly nope we need to be much lower health to get energy off that 
Uh, that's just going to be an energy artifact. To play it safe, kill three, and then maybe... Nah. Nah, not going to take enough damage to get energy off of it. So, let's keep going. Solo, I think we're going to have to use an active here as well. That puts us in prime range of one tapping, or two tapping. Uh, we're going to need an active, so let's just heal a little bit. Just so we don't instantly proc unbending. There we go. 48 done. On to 49. Maybe get energy here, although they're getting a lot tougher. But I don't think... Nope. That, that, can be, that can get really close. I think we're to the point where we need that upgraded Punisher at this point. Um, we're just going to use an energy. Guarantee we get the checkpoint. And then see how much further we can push. But being that we're getting low on potions... Unless we can do that and farm a lot, I think we're going to be pretty much done with the run so far. We'll see if we can get further, but healing might become an issue. Omivore. I can't remember what we do versus Omivore. We get energy off Omivore. That's what we do. Vesa grew. We should be able to two-tap. Nice. Eesh. Eee, this could be the end of the run. Let's see how we do against Asmodel because, of course, we don't have anti-warrior because we are a warrior. So we take full damage from Asmodel's. Those crits are going to hurt a ton. Sketchy, sketchy. All right. So this time we will go in with an energy artifact. We don't want to risk losing to the Mims because I think Mims are a wave that are definitely going to be able to beat us. Maybe we somehow get energy off of this, though. Not quite. Almost. Almost. Don't know why I bought those. We're not even doing it. <laughs> We're not doing PvP. Alright, let's keep going. 56. Uh, Double Omivore. We're going to keep ourselves low on health. See what happens here. Oh, he did an energy drain. That's what I was banking on right there. It was close, though. It was definitely close. I think we two-tap a Gurk. No, we do not. We don't even come close to two-tapping at this point. So we are most definitely going to need a Punisher. We're definitely going to need a Punisher from here on out. Rather, not a Punisher. A Glittery Plus Punisher to have a shot. Because now they're getting very tanky. And it's to the point where we can't two-tap with our basic even at next to no health. And that's really important to be able to do... Whew, you procced unbending right there. That's a little sketchy. Um, Maybe we got to get crit, though. All right, we got crit. Oh, no. Okay, we're fine. 28 million. Man, his active really does hit for crazy amounts of damage, though. Well, we do tap two-tap Omvor. The problem is he does drain energy. No way we one-tap. We're going to have to use our energy up. I'm surprised we're still going, though. We're in the 60s, and we're still trucking. Mickey is very tanky. But as long as we can do waves like that, we'll be good. And end of run. <laughs> I think this is where we're done, boys and girls. This is as far as we go. Hell 64. We got the Hell 50 checkpoint. We'll give it a try, but I think we die on this one right here. Because it's going to be hard to get energy for an active here. Oh, it's so much damage. We're going to kill everybody, but we're not going to get to another active before the mark damage kills us through unbending. So 65, not bad. He's definitely hitting hard. Next glorious boost. We already have the relics for it. We got 492, so we'll be able to make it. We'll be in a good spot. We'll have more stellar next time as well because we'll have 250 more crystals, stellar shards. We'll be in a good spot. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I'm happy I finally didn't choke and throw this run. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. And I'll catch you guys next time.